Hey there, my name is Soman and welcome to Purple Pi Studios. This is the lesson 4 of the After Effects series where we are going to clear all the rendering related doubts in After Effects. So we are going to learn how to render out animations in After Effects in all these formats. And I'm also going to share with you a bonus tip and address some common problems while rendering in After Effects. So make sure to watch till the end. And without any further delay, let's jump right into it. This is the animation that we are going to render in this video in all these formats. By the way, we have created this animation in the last lesson. If you haven't checked it out yet, you can go through the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. First, let's check out how to render mp4 file. While rendering, the very first thing that you need to keep in mind is that you have to set the work area. The area that is inside the work area is only going to render and it is valid for all the formats. So right now, our whole animation is inside the work area. Oh, one more thing. When you go to the composition settings and set the background color, this background color is not going to render. You can see it while you are previewing the animation in After Effects, but after that, when you try to render it out, it is not going to render. It is basically going to look exactly like this. So if you don't have a solid layer background, the final render is going to look something like this. So it is going to render out with a black background. So due to this reason, I have added a solid background with white fill so that when we render out the animation, it has a solid colored background. Now to render it out in MP4 file, go to file, export and right now we are going to select add to render queue click on it and here it is added in the render queue now from here click on best settings here in most of the cases you would need to select best resolution if you want to render it in full resolution of the given composition for this case it's 1920 by 1080 then you have to keep it full if you click on half, it's going to render it in this resolution. If it's a full HD resolution then, and if you click on third, it is going to decrease the resolution even further. In most of the cases, you would like to keep it full and press OK. Now here, you have to select the file format. Render in MP4, you have to select H264, this one, and keep rest of the settings as it is and press OK. Now you have to specify the destination where you want to render the final file and browse the destination and name the file and click on save and then click on render. Now the video file is rendered. Next is rendering AVI files. Again, go to file, export, add to render queue, then click on output module and from here you have to select avi and press ok again select the destination and rename the file and click on save and click on render and now you have your avi file rendered but the problem of rendering with avi is with mp4 you can see the size is around 368 kb but with AVI, it's 320 MB, even though it's just a second long video. So AVI file formats consumes up a lot of space because of its almost uncompressed outputs compared to what we get from MP4 or MOV file types. Now let's check out how to render a video file with transparent background. So for that, first let's get inside the composition and turn off the background solid layer because if you have a shape background or a solid background, then it doesn't make any sense to render it out with transparent background. Now get inside this composition, go to file, export, add to render, then go to the output module settings, select AVI, channels, RGB plus alpha and keep the other settings as it is and press ok. Specify the export destination and rename the file and then click on render. And now if I import it in After Effects, you can see the video file has a transparent background. Now let's render in MOV file format. Again, add to render queue. This time, go to output module and in format, you have to select QuickTime. In case QuickTime is not available here in this option, go to Google and search QuickTime and from the first link, download the latest version and install it. Then you should get the QuickTime option over here. And then we are going to press OK and then select the destination and rename the file and then render. 
Now to check the MOV file, you have to use the QuickTime player. And here you have the rendered file in MOV format. Now let's check out how to export PNG sequence. Go to file, go to export and then add to render queue. Go to output module settings from the format select PNG sequence and click on OK. Then select the destination and rename the folder and click on save and render. Now you have a separate folder inside which you have all the frames of the animation in PNG file. And if you want to render out PNG sequence with transparent background, first make sure there is no solid colored background in your animation and then go to the render queue. And in the output module settings, format should be PNG sequence and the channel should be RGB plus alpha. Keep the rest of the settings as it is and you have to render it out in the settings. Now let's check out how to render animated GIF. To render animated GIF, we are going to use another software called Adobe Media Encoder. And if you have Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, then you will have this software in your plan. So just go to Creative Cloud, All Apps and download the Media Encoder from here. Now in After Effects, go to File, Export and Add to Media Encoder queue. Now the Media Encoder will open up and you have the file listed in the render queue. Now click over here. From the format, we have to select Animated GIF and for the preset, if you select animated GIF match source, it's going to have a color background. In this case, it's going to be black. But if you select animated GIF with transparency, then it is going to have a transparent background. In most of the cases, you would need this. So click on this one. And from here, you can select the output destination and then rename the file and then press OK. And then click on this play button. Now, if I bring this GIF file in After Effects, you can see it has a transparent background. So these are the most used render formats that you would need to know for now. And now it's time for the bonus tip, where we're going to learn how to import PNG sequence in After Effects. So double click on the project panel and get inside the PNG sequence file. Select the very first frame of the PNG sequence. Check the PNG sequence over here. From here, you have to select footage and check create composition and then click on import. And now your PNG sequence is imported in After Effects. So let's compare it with the MP4 render. Now let's solo the layer. Here you can see the length is exactly same even for the PNG sequence. But in some cases, this may not be the case. For that, you have to select the PNG sequence in project panel, right click on it, go to interpret footage and click on main. And from here, you have to adjust the frame rate. You have to keep the frame rate exactly same as the video clip. Right now, it's exactly same as the video clip. So there's no issue. But sometimes the PNG sequence lengths are either smaller or bigger. So in that case, you have to adjust the frame rate. And if you are using the older version of After Effects, you may not get H.264 in the file format for the default renderer in After Effects. In that case, you can use Adobe Media Encoder. So click on presets from the format, select H.264 preset. You can keep it match source high bit rate. And in the video section here, down at the bottom, in the target bit rate, if you decrease the value of the target bit rate, you can actually compress the file and decrease the file size. But don't decrease it too much, otherwise it's going to actually impact the picture quality of the overall animation. So that is it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to learn everything about the keyframes in After Effects. So if you like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I would be happy to help you out. And if you're here for the first time, then make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.